Hey, my name is Ty, and I want to give you the three reasons why I decided to become vegan. So reason number one is I did a, uh, a plant-based challenge a few years ago with some friends and uh, some others. And with this whole plant-based challenge, you know, it was pretty interesting because for me, I'm probably one of the biggest meat eaters that you know or who you don't know, but I'm just letting you know. I used to love medium rare ribeyes, steaks, and just like I, chicken, turkey, used to eat all that stuff. Um, but this plant-based challenge came along and, you know, I'm a challenge type of guy. I like to, uh, like to challenge myself, you know, things that are difficult to see if I can overcome them. And I started researching some of the different foods that you can eat plant-based and it was pretty interesting because I'm thinking, okay, I'm just gonna be eating beans and rice and, and vegetables. But, you know, I started looking at some of the plant-based uh, proteins out there, the Beyond Meats and Impossible Meats and stuff like that. And since I'm, you know, big into working out, wanted to look at some of the, some of those options to see how they would, you know, equate to the meat versions, you know, like the actual the meat versions. So for example, Beyond Beef, the burgers, looking at those and seeing what the macros, how much protein, carbs are in those things versus, you know, a regular beef patty. And I'm looking at them like, OK, all right, it's they're, they're pretty, pretty comparable. 20 grams, you know, and, uh, and the plant based patties, you know, 20, sometimes 25 grams of the beef. So I was like, you know what? Why not give this a shot? You know, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Well, you know, like with any challenge, you know, some of my friends started with me. A lot of them just <laughs> didn't continue. Right. So it was only supposed to be a 30 day challenge. And for me, it just kind of continued, you know? Um, I did notice some interesting things though, um, in terms of uh, that, that first 30 days. I mean, I immediately found this crazy energy uh, rush, like every day I'd wake up and just have more and more energy, uh, which is totally different, you know? Cause when you're eating beef, you're just kind of, I just basically used to your regular diet. Um, so you, you know, you have a big meal, you feel a little sluggish, you feel a little tired. I didn't get that with the plant-based uh, eating. That was pretty interesting to me. And I'm, I'm eating food that looks like meat, right? Um, so, you know, I just pretty much continued that. I, I thought it was uh, it was pretty cool. Um, I was always like a, a big, you know, green smoothie drinker and um, salad eater. So that part of the vegan diet was pretty simple. But, you know, one of the, one of the most important factors for me was I want to get this protein because People are always asking if you know if you're vegan, like how are you getting that protein and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, you know, let me let me just continue to delve into that. Um, but like I said, with any challenge, you know, people start with you, so people are all excited, you know, ready to go. Um, and then people start to drop off, right? So I noticed that, but I wanted to see this thing through, right? So we're like three weeks in, and I'm noticing, you know, like with the gym, at the time maybe my my strength went down a little bit. But I was like, you know what? I'm eating less calories. You know, I'm trying to figure this whole plant-based thing out. And then we get into week four and I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm here. I'm almost done with this challenge. And then I said, you know what? Let me just go another month. Why not? Why not? Sure. So then I go into February with this thing. And now I'm starting to look at some of the foods that I'm eating. I'm eating lentils and I'm combining them with some of the plant-based meats. and. I'm starting to get, you know, a little bit of my strength back now. I'm like, okay, well, and I shouldn't say getting my strength back. I should just say that anytime you make a drastic change such as that, you know, things are going to happen differently, right? But I'm the type where I just want to see this through. Let's just work this out, right? But all of a sudden, I started combining some of these, you know, uh, lentils with Beyond Beef and, you know, plant-based shakes and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Like my energy level's high. Um, my strength in the gym is coming back. I'm like, this is actually pretty cool. I, I, I like this, right? So I said, you know, I'm just gonna continue this, right? So I'm also big on getting my blood results taken because, you know, you can look like a million dollars like I do, right? <laughs> but inside, you could be worth $10. So I um, decided, okay, well, I usually get my blood drawn like every June, you know? So I said, all right, let me, uh, let me just continue. Like, like, let me try this plant-based thing for like six months, right? Because now I'm like three months in it and I'm doing, I'm feeling great. Telling other people about it. If they're plant-based, they get it. If they're not plant-based, or I should say 100% plant-based, they have no idea what I'm talking about. So I'm like, you know, you should give it a try, whatever. So now we're getting towards June. And this is now the second reason why uh, I decided to now stay vegan. It's because I got my blood results. So I'm going to say this. My blood results when I was younger, let's say two years before this time, 
I had like high cholesterol for a long time. Uh, that was really like the only issue that I had. High cholesterol, the rest of my blood results were good. I mean, I ate well, like I said, you know, I definitely loved the beef and all that, loved the meat, but blood results were cool. Everything was fine, except the cholesterol was a little high, but the doctor didn't necessarily have a problem. He said, you're young, not really a big deal. You know, your, your ratios, you know, uh, HDL, LDL, all that's pretty fine, so you're okay. But see, I'm the type of person to where, if there's a way to, to, to improve, I'm looking for that. So now we get to, now we get to June and I get my blood results done. Now it's six months being vegan, right? Six months, right? And I'm eating a little bit differently than most vegans eat because some vegans don't eat the plant-based uh, meats and stuff like that. But you know, like I said, I do. So I get my blood results and my cholesterol, it was prior to that, it was, uh, I think it was like 280, almost 300. When I got my blood results done, it was like 146, which was crazy to me. I was surprised. You know, I, I've always heard that um, when you make a, a, a drastic change plant-based, like your blood results would, in, would improve. But you know, like there's just so much conflicting information out there. You know, you talk to some people, uh, they're against veganism. So, you know, they're gonna tell you that you need to eat meat. And sometimes you talk to vegans and you know, you know, veganism will, will change everything. It'll make you grow tall, it'll make you do everything, right? So there's a lot of information out there. So a lot of times you just gotta do things and, you know, do, do it for yourself, right? So I, I kind of do that a lot of times. I'll, I'll run these studies because, you know, there's all these studies on different foods and how they affect the body. I decided to do it on, on, my, on myself. But not only did my cholesterol improve, but also like my kidney function improved as well. And let's just even fast forward. I got my blood results done a second time, right? So now I'm a year into to being vegan. Blood results, phenomenal. And I know it's a topic people don't discuss, right? You only really talk about blood results when you go to the doctor and he or she tells you that you have an issue. And then that's when we start to make the change. Well, I was a bit more proactive than that. So I was shocked, right? And like the second time getting the blood results done, my kidney function improved. I mean, maybe I'll make a video on that later, like, like delving into blood results because I do think that's important. But like I said, I love beef. I love, I love turkey, but there was a drastic change there. And that that's I still worked out as much as I did, as hard as I did, you know, and I actually got older, right? And you know, as you get older, things don't necessarily get better. But the biggest change was the diet. There's no question that that's exactly what did it. So now we'll discuss the third reason why I decided to be vegan and stay vegan um, is really throughout all this time of just working out and, and eating right, I, uh, I would hear about people being vegan and I would say, you know what, that's cool. That's good for them. Like, it sounds like it's healthy, but you know what? I have the optimal diet, right? Um, I ate ground turkey, you know, very lean ground turkey, sweet potato, kale salads, right? So yeah, to me, that's an optimal diet. And like I said, I go to the doctor. The doctor's like, yeah, your blood results are good. So as far as I was concerned, my diet was great, right? And I would look at the vegan diet, didn't really look very attractive to me. And you know, like a lot of you out there, myself, I care about how I look. So I would, I even remember telling a friend this and I'll never forget. I said, I was, we were looking at a, a, this, this vegan guy who was a trainer, looking at him on, on Instagram. And I was like, yeah, he looks good, but he doesn't look as good as me. And on top of that, if I were to switch to his diet, I'm not gonna look as good as I look now. I'm probably gonna be smaller. So in essence, I gave myself excuses and I don't know, fortunately or unfortunately, I'm the type of person to where if I tell myself something that I can't do too often, then I kind of want to prove it to myself. So that was another reason why I said, you know what? Like if this vegan thing is really something like, why not prove it? You know, um, at the time there weren't many vegans who at least looked the way that I wanted to look. I mean, okay, none of them. There were like no vegans out there who looked the way I wanted to look, right? So. I was like, you know what, let me just continue this. And it's really made all the difference. I, I can't even deny how awesome it is. Now, a lot of people switch over to the, the vegan lifestyle because they're really sympathetic to the, to the animals or to the environment. That's an unbelievably noble cause. And I'm really happy about that aspect of it too, because it's, it's a benefit, right? But I didn't go into it for that. 
it was more selfish reasons. It was about my health. But now I can look and say, you know what? Yeah, uh, the environment situation, you know, I, the way that animals are treated, you know, that is a uh, very, very noble cause, right? But um, a lot of you out there, if you're not vegan, you know, you might have sympathy towards that, but that's not why, or obviously, you know, if you're not vegan, you don't have too much sympathy towards it, or maybe you do, but just letting you know that that's an awesome benefit, you know, as well. But um, yeah, and at this point, I don't see myself changing. I, there's really no reason. I mean, I can get all of the protein that I need. Um, my blood results are fantastic, right? And I keep stressing blood results because some of you out there, like I talk to people, you don't even get your blood taken. Some of you are a little afraid to, and I get it, right? But trust me, it's something that you wanna you wanna figure out. You know, we talk about yeah, hereditary issues, right? So, you know, uh, oh yeah, high blood pressure or diabetes. Uh, it runs in my family. Well, I'm sure it does because everything runs in my family too, but I'm not gonna accept that, right? That just doesn't make any sense to me, especially when we could change that, we could prevent that. So the main reason why I wanna make this video for you, hopefully give you some some things to think about uh, within, this, um, within this life of ours. Just think about it, like we don't have to necessarily settle, you know, just because, uh, especially when it comes to hereditary issues, we don't have to settle for, you know, being overweight, we don't have to settle for, having health issues because there are ways, there are resources out there that will help us become as optimal as possible. So just wanna give you that information right there. Talk to you soon.